Hi everyone. Welcome back to At The Stove with Audrey Grove, episode 10. Today we're making a summer, a fresh summer ratatouille, and then a special little drink afterwards. So welcome back. So glad to see you. Thanks for inviting me into your home. Let's get cooking. All right, so before we started our show today, I um, caramelized some onions and I chopped up all the things for our ratatouille. So we're gonna start cooking them up. I'm gonna put a little olive oil in my pan. You can use a large fry pan, a Dutch oven like this, whatever, whatever you are comfortable cooking in. So the reason that I had sauteed these before, I wanted them to caramelize and I didn't want them to cook with all the other vegetables because I didn't think they would get as caramelized. So let me show you what I have here. I cut up some carrots and celery, some yellow peppers, tomatoes. These are some really nice fresh tomatoes from the farm down the road, some fresh mushrooms, and the last thing is eggplant. I washed it and just cubed it up. I, if you notice, and I'm sure you do, that I left the skin on the, the eggplant. Some people like the skin on, some people don't. I feel like people always say that's where all the nutrition is in the skin, so I kept it out. The other thing you're gonna need for this is some olive oil, and the last thing is a jar of your favorite marinara. Okay. So our oil's getting nice and hot. I'm cooking this on a medium low flame. We're gonna start with our carrots and celery. So I'm gonna put them in. The nice thing about this is that you could really add anything that you want into here, um, any vegetables that you want. Today is Monday and I always do a recipe for meatless Monday. So that's why I thought this would be good. We can actually, you know, I think we're gonna add something else into this. Let me grab it, grab it from my fridge. Zucchini. So I'm just gonna quickly wash it. Why not get as many vegetables as you can into this, right? So I'm gonna use half, this is a really big zucchini. My friend gave it to me from her garden. So I'm gonna do half. And I'm gonna cut it into fours. Four, um, what do they call these? Little spheres. And then I'm just gonna chop it up. Like we could even have some more. Hmm. Let's take another little piece. Cut that into fours. And then chop that up. Okay, that's good. So we'll keep that waiting. Okay, so we're gonna just make sure we move around the carrots and the celery. Um, what I love about a ratatouille is that literally any vegetables that you have in your fridge can go into this. So I don't, oh, I do have fresh garlic. Hang on. I didn't think I did. Let's open it up. And let's take a little garlic out. Let me grab a, a clove. Hard to get these suckers out. Let's see, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna take two cloves of garlic. We like garlic in this family, but we don't like recipes to over overwhelm us with the garlic. So I think two cloves will be great. I'm gonna peel them. I just cut off the ends. We do have a, a fancy garlic uh, press. 
But you know what? It's more dishes to wash and I don't feel like that today. Um, I don't know when you'll be seeing this, but today is really hot. So that also helped me figure out that I didn't want to turn the oven on today and I wanted to make something that was stovetop. So I'm just going to do a nice chop up on the garlic. I think they said today was the 12th day of temperatures above 90. Ugh. So I hope you all are keeping cool. All right, so we got a little bit of garlic. I'm not gonna throw that in yet. That'll be one of the last things I throw in because we don't want the garlic to burn because then it gets really bitter. All right, so we have our carrots and celery doing very nicely in here. And I'm gonna add in my peppers. So I chose yellow peppers. Why, you ask? Because that's what I have. So, you can put in red peppers, green peppers, whatever you like. Even if you like a little spicy kick, you can add in uh, jalapenos or any kind of cherry peppers. All right, so that's cooking away. Let's see. I think next, in a minute, we're gonna add in our zucchini. I'm trying to think of adding them in, in the order of what cooks, they'll take the longest to cook. So the zucchini goes next. This is a great dish that you could serve as a side dish with any kind of meat or fish, or you could serve it with pasta or rice without meat, which is what I'll be doing today for Meatless Monday. So we're just, I'm gonna lower the heat just a little bit. We don't want this cooking too fast. So we've got these lovely vegetables cooking up. Get rid of some of this garbage. It's nice to have a sink with a garbage disposal. You just throw everything in there and boom takes care of it. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper on here. I don't use too much because there is salt in my marinara. So a tiny bit of salt and a tiny bit of pepper. Good. Hey, oh, it's starting to smell really good in here. First of all, we started off with a house smelling fabulous from the caramelized onions, and now we've got these awesome summer veggies cooking up. Next, I'm going to, I think I'm gonna do the mushrooms. So I bought whole mushrooms and cleaned them and then cut them up into smaller pieces. And this is a cup of mushrooms. Starting to smell really good. Okay. Last piece of zucchini in the pot. I think next we're gonna put in our chopped tomatoes. And these are fresh from my neighbor's garden. And this is uh, like about, when it, once it's chopped, about three quarters of a cup of tomatoes. And you could put more. I didn't have the bigger tomatoes, so I used just what I had. So the colors are looking beautiful. I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. I think we might need some spices in here, so hang on. Let's pull out some for my oregano. Here we go. My oregano. And one more thing I'm going to want is bay leaf. And I happen to have, I don't know if you see that, some fresh bay leaves. A resident in Ashland Village brought some over to the Charity Foundation and I was lucky enough to get some. This was full 
at the beginning of the quarantine and I've been doing a lot of cooking, so I'll need some more. All right, let's mix this around a little. Mm, starting to smell so good. And the last vegetable that I'm gonna put in here is our cubed eggplant. with this spatula. And now I'm gonna put in that little bit of garlic, those two cloves, and I'm just gonna chop them up just a little bit more. Because we don't want anyone to kind of get a big bite of garlic. We want it to just sort of melt into the rest. So I'm gonna put that in. onions and I'm going to put them in there. Sorry for the noise. Okay, I'm just loading up all my dishes in the sink. I'm hoping that the cleanup crew will take care of it. Haha, ha, that's me. <laughs> all right. And I'm going to lift this up so you can see. Ooh, hot, so hang on. Let's see if we can do it this way. If you can see how pretty all the colors are. All those fresh summer vegetables. I'm gonna let it cook some more. Oh, this is looking good. Okay, so just to review, we've got caramelized onions, garlic, tomatoes, fresh from the garden, zucchini, fresh from the garden, eggplant, and mushrooms. All cooking up. I like to make it in a Dutch oven because, it, because it's got a lot of room in it. When I've made it in a, saute, a large saute pan, I always feel like, ah, it's coming over the sides, it's too much. So this fits it really nicely. The last thing that we're gonna do is put in some marinara sauce. So I'm just gonna get a measuring cup. And I'm gonna start with a cup, ooh, this might be hard, got it. A cup of marinara. Give this another mix. Mmm, smells so good. So fresh. Okay. So now, um, so what we really want is we want all the vegetables to cook down. So when you put the sauce in, it just gives it more moisture to start that cooking down process. I could already tell you that I'm gonna need more than this cup because this is a lot of delicious vegetables. This is a great kind of thing to um, make and freeze half so that you have a meal another time. So let's do, let's do another cup. Okay, Ooh, I'm making a mess, but that's okay. That's what cleanup's for. This is perfect. So that'll be two cups of marinara, your favorite marinara. Some people make their own and that's great. Today, I really didn't want to take the time to do that. So I'm just gonna turn this off for a second, have you see what it looks like with the marinara in here. And I wish you could smell the deliciousness. I'm gonna take my bay leaf and put it in there, kind of push it down, cover it up a little. And I'm gonna put a tiny bit, tiny bit of water. So let's say it's, it's not even a quarter of a cup. 
Let's mix that up because again, the more liquid there is, uh, the easier it is for the vegetables to soften and cook down. Okay, now this is absolutely perfect. We're gonna take our top, these a ton. We're gonna put the heat back on. We're gonna put it on really low. We're gonna set the timer for 20 minutes. We'll come back and check it then. Hi, we're back and my kitchen smells so good. So, I am going to take the lid off of my beautiful ratatouille. I'm going to take the camera from my cameraman. So I apologize if it's a little shaky for a moment, but I just want you to see this bubbling goodness. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm. Okay, let me give it back. Hello. Okay, so let's turn it off. This cooked for 21 minutes to perfection. I happen to have made during our break um, a little bit of this Rotelli pasta, and I'm gonna take some amazing uh, oh, ratatouille, take a little bit of sauce, Awesome. And now I'm gonna take some Parmesan cheese and I'm just gonna use a vegetable peeler. I like that because um, it's like nice little chunks of delicious salty flavor. Okay. I'm gonna leave this up here for our cameraman to show you how beautiful that is. That's going to be my lunch today. So while this is cooling off a little bit, let's make a nice refreshing drink. I took a peach, just a fresh peach, and I cut it up and I'm gonna put it in my glass and I'm gonna smush it and muddle it a little so that some of that yummy peach juice is released. There we go. I'm gonna break, put some ice cubes in here because this is a super hot day. So this is it so far. I'm gonna take this peach juice that I found at the supermarket, no added sugars, and I'm gonna put it in. And I didn't fill it up because this does have natural sugar. So I'm trying to keep it low calorie and healthy, so I'm taking some seltzer and I'm gonna to top it off with that. You're like a bartender. And then I'm gonna mix it all together. And let's take a taste. Oh my goodness, that is delicious. And you could make this with any kind of fruit and any kind of juice. It's just a really good, we'll call this a summer, a peach summer spritzer. How's that? Okay. And now it's time to try our ratatouille. The cheese melted a little bit. And let's get all these delicious vegetables in one forkful. It's really hot. Oh my God. It was a little too hot to eat, oh my gosh. But I have to tell you, this is delicious. This is just the perfect summer meal when you don't want to light the oven and or go outside and light the grill. But again, you can serve this on a, as a side dish with anything you want. And this really good refreshing peach spritzer just tops it off. So if my cameraman is lucky, I'm going to make him one of these and a plate of this. And remember my favorite quote, cooking is love you can taste. So I'm sending my good thoughts out to you. I hope you're doing well. And remember, if you have any recipes that you'd like to see me make on the cooking show, send them over to me. Um, Audrey Grove, A Grove, at masonicare.org. Talk to you soon.
See you soon on our next episode. Have a great day.